Hello guys, I figured I I wanted to do something different. Uh, I wanted to show you guys my a collection of mine, and this is my Kevin Smith collection. You're probably seeing this on I want to say Wednesday. Um, you just saw the car icon video yesterday. If I have this all correct, I initially planned on having the Comic Con video. On Monday, which at the time of recording this is tomorrow. Sorry if this is getting all confusing and shit, but trust me, it makes sense in my head. But uh, yeah, so I wanted to show you my Kevin Smith collection. Uh, I'm missing a few things, notably the True North trilogy movies. Minus, I have yoga holsters at my house, so I gotta bring that over one day. And, um, I'm missing a bunch of the other, um, like, talk show interview um, DVDs as well. Uh, and the one-off movies. Uh, although I'm getting one in the mail soon. But, um, yeah. Uh, let me show you. that. That's my collection. There's one CD in here. So, yeah. Let's get started. Enough rambling. Mallrats is the first one. This is the Arrow Video uh, Blu-ray, which came out in... 2020 right yeah 2020 for its 25th anniversary 25th anniversary and it was as usual for typical uk releases there's a whole uh uk the uk uh is who put uh who makes the arrow blu-rays they're not here to shop they're not here to work they're just there limited edition contents in here um taken from a uh, i believe a fork there's a 4K master of this, um, which was uh, released to Blu-ray uh, later on this year. I have a feeling that they might put that version out on 4K. I don't know. I'm, I'll probably pick it up if it is. That'd be the first Kevin Smith 4K. Unless they put Clerks 3 on 4K. Um, highly doubt it, though. Here's the bonus features if you want to pause to read. Rated or not rated. Uh, 95 minutes for the theatrical, 122 for the extended, and 85 minutes for the regular. Um, uh, 5.1 and 2.0 audio tracks are available. 185 to 1, of course, not rated for the extended and TV cuts. All of Kevin, the, uh, the trilogy, the, um, Jersey trilogy, it's known as the Jersey trilogy, um, because really the other ones aren't in Jersey. Um, parts of it. Ex until until Clerks 2. Weren't in Jersey. Shot fully. Weren't fully in Jersey the whole time. So it's called the Jersey Trilogy. Even though this was shot in Minnesota Mall. Um, anyway. Front spine. We got Kevin Smith over there. AKA Silent Bob. Front spine. Back. I prefer these type of cases to the. Other two discs, I like the flap, the flap in the middle, um, like the DVDs had when we, um, back in those, I mean, they still make them, but like, yeah, I prefer the flap than the one disc on one side, one disc on the other side, kind of deal. So, yep, yeah, uh, this is DTS and Dolby Audio, so, I don't know if it's Dolby Master Audio or just Dolby Audio. Not too sure I didn't check. Um, there's alternate artwork, which is the... I'll show you the back. The back is just the Mall Rats theatrical poster logo. You got a... Um, a uh, whoa. Sorry about that. I'm getting a bunch of messages. Um, you got a ad for... Some other arrow stuff, which I'm not really into. Um, not my cup of tea. Whatever. Uh, this is the book. Uh, this is the uh, uh, this is the soundtrack cover as well. If you do come across the soundtrack, which I've been looking for, for a reasonable cost, but whatever. Um, Model casting crew, perfect example of a slump by the restoration. You got the cast here. 
Those on the crew, Jim Jacks, of course, Mosier and Kevin. Um, a little write up about the film. I'm hoping like somebody like Arrow picks up um, Clerks and Chasing Amy. I mean, Clerks. And like, uh, yeah, like Clerks. Because that would be the only one that doesn't have a um, boutique label release, if you didn't know, of the trilogy. I'd say it would be warranted for one for Dogma, but I don't think that that would ever happen in a million years. Um, because, let's face it, it won't. For a stand over here. Yeah, I need more Kevin Smith's like side project stuff as well. That's what I'm in the looking for. It's taken it was scanned in four K. And the disposed element was also scanned for the director's cut. That's the kind of stuff that I'd like to read, you know, just to see. Back is the end of the film. Kind of a spoiler for the end credits, but whatever. You got the plans. I take a run in the fours with the sock full of quarters. Uh, if, if you watch the movie, you know. You know the scene. So you got uh, the first side. Which is the the sock full of quarters thing? Oh, I know this is the oh that's the um that's the second one. This is the first one. The sock full of quarters. This is the first one, and then this is uh, the second one. I had it the other way around, but whatever. I just realized that now. Whoops. I don't know why they folded it that way, but okay, whatever. Uh, disc one, the theatrical cut. This is most of the bonus features. Uh, good stuff. And the Blu ray. Hopefully, this doesn't go over an hour. I took seven minutes just to do an intro and show one movie. That's kind of bad. <laughs> okay. There you go. That's one down. I might go back and watch the bonus features later on. Uh, Clerks, the uh, music for the motion picture. Stuff like Alice in Chains, Bad Religion, uh, Girls, Bunks, uh, Girls Against Boys, um, Love Amongst Freaks, doing the theme song, Soul Asylum, uh, Corrosion of Conformity. Good stuff. Um, if you, this is the only Kevin Smith soundtrack I do have at the moment. If you're wondering why I put Mallrats first, it's because it takes place first in the timeline of the uh, franchise. So you got uh, uh, Dante's uh, Lament, which is not available on YouTube. It's it's hidden or something. I don't know, um, or unlisted or removed or whatever. 28 songs on the soundtrack, um, including dialogue. 20 tracks of dialogue and music. Miramax Films, Miramax Records logos at the back. Absolutely wonderful soundtrack if you've not heard it. Cover of Go Your Own Way. Another good one. Tells you who performs what. The disc. Whoa. Yeah, I wish I had some of the laser discs or VHS of these movies, but I don't. Clerks X, I, I don't have the original Clerks DVD, I just have Clerks X. 
This is the 10th anniversary edition. Hence X, but it's three discs, uh, two, uh, both versions of the film, the first cuts and the theatrical cuts and the third disc of bonus features. Look at that. That's just loaded with features. This is rated R. I believe it's 92 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. I gotta watch Snowball Effect, uh, eventually. Uh, front spine. After I finish watching all the bonus music stuff, I'll probably pop these documentaries and stuff in. Rated R 92 minutes. I'm especially, uh, if I had to watch one of them, it would be, um, it would be, um, the snowball effect. So, yep, here you go. Got a word from Kevin Smith. Clerks 2 and 06. I'm just gonna flip through this because this is just like pictures and stuff. Word from Mosier. Like balancing out all that stuff. Um, posters. Press kit stuff and I sure you were open. Which is the back to this thing. But whatever. Disc one. Uh, the theatrical feature. Disc two. This is the first cut of disc two. And then disc three is the bonus features. This is everything you'd want out of a bonus feature disc. And once you slide it across, this is like the promo picture they used for clerks, but with like a blue tint. Um, so let's... I gotta, I gotta, I gotta rewatch. um... I've seen the first cut of this movie. I've seen all three cuts of Mall Rats as well, so... I think I already watched all three at once, if I'm not mistaken. For Mall Rats. Not too sure about Clerks, though. Uh, Clerks, this is the Blu-ray. This combines all, most of the features that are on the DVD, but it's not all of them. Uh, rated R90, as they said, 92 minutes. Front, spine, back. I much prefer this artwork to the newer um, release re-releases from uh, Paramount, which is just a blue disc. So yeah, as for like Miramax stuff, how to get the best of your high definition TV, blah, 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 blah. Shows your titles are available. I love to get Con Air, The Rock, that kind of stuff. I've always wanted to watch those movies, but I never did. Something I'd love to watch on Laserdisc, if I ever got it on Laserdisc. The Blu-ray, I love the disc art for this. If you haven't watched it, do that immediately. I love the slipcover on this thing, too. It's The word Clerks is actually embossed. Uh, now we move on to Chasing Amy. This is the Criterion uh, DVD. This one does not... Um, this is... Um, um, it was originally... This version was originally released on Laserdisc with the infamous... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swear but now, but fuck DVD. You know, that's where all that, all that came from was this really, the Laserdisc version of this. He did an apology uh, as like a clickable part on the main menu for this. This is one, probably one of the most common criterions, by the way. Just letting you know. Um, this is uh, anamorphic, of course. Uh, where are you? Rated R. How long is this movie? 113 minutes. I believe this is the only way you can get it on DVD. 
I'm not too sure on that, but correct me if I'm wrong. Disc, one of my favorites. I have the Blu-ray as well. Really, really good. Um, I like to check out the uh, bonus features on all these releases. Rated R, 113 minutes. I'm assuming most of the bonus features are not... For, uh, most of the Criterion bonus features are not on here. Anyway, um... Also, this is the only one of the uh, re-release Blu-rays um, Miramax put out that has uh, trailers for it. They go to the main menu. This one has trailers and the main menu. Um, Rated R 113 minutes, of course. One of my absolute favorite movies of all time. Yeah, same thing. Same ads. I'm not going to even bother. Um, yeah, pictures. Whoa. Disc. One of my, uh, favorite movies. Crazy Joe from the Mega Potastic Show, uh, was a cameo in this movie. That's a fun fact for you, if you watch his, uh, channel. Uh, one of the more rarer um, ones in my collection, one of my more rare movies in my collection, period. Uh, and I ironically have it twice. And I'm taking my second copy home with me. Uh, Dogma, this is the special edition. Uh, I, I should take advantage and watch the features, I ha which I have not done yet. Mercilessly funny. Uh, oh, here's the other slide. This looks like a Bible. Uh, mercilessly funny the new york times got a, a bunch of features i gotta i gotta watch all this stuff rated r 128 minutes great movie kind of spoils who god is but whatever um the case is meant to look like a bible I only have this on DVD because the Blu-ray is really expensive. Why would I spend that much money on a Blu-ray? I wouldn't. Period. Unless it's like... Once in a lifetime kind of thing for me. I don't know what that's all about, but okay. Light up the world. write-ups and stuff and some more of those like posters in the backgrounds of the movie that we never really paid attention to probably never did pay attention to in the movie it's a really good movie though i i rewatched it on dvd and it looks pretty good disc one with the movies logo kind of want a breakfast sandwich now. And I'm not too sure what this is. Because I don't remember this being in the movie. But whatever. That's this too. This is only released on VHS or DVD. There's no Blu-ray equivalent or anything like that. The show kind of bombs, so I understand why. This is the Clerks Uncensored uh, DVD. The show is really, really fun. Um, highly recommend you check it out. Um, this is my second copy. My first copy uh, would not play parts of the disc, so uh, I... When I get the Kevin Smith lot, I just adopted this one and get rid. I'm gonna give the person who buys that. I have some Kevin Smith stuff. I'm gonna get rid of. Uh, I don't need their duplicates and stuff, so I'm gonna sell them off. I'm gonna throw that in with your purchase. You get a couple of bonus features here. Uh, rated R, and altogether it's 130 minutes. You got a episode card. Tells you the chapters. Disc one. 
was only running about like I want to say like a couple like an hour and a half. This two, yeah. So these are these have three episodes each. So it's like you have to switch halfway. Jay and Silent Bob uh, Strike Back. Great movie. You mu you should keep the DVD if you have the Blu-ray. I'll, I'll get to that when I when I show you the Blu-ray. Spoiler alert. Um, look at all that bonus features. Um, rated R, a hundred and uh, four minutes, and the bonus features is a hundred and seventy six minutes long. Holy shit! Um, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta watch it um, again. I'm tempted to like rewatch these movies with commentary. Just the movies. A disc that would save me time because I'm gonna watch the evening with stuff. That's disc one and it's disc two. And here's the Blu-ray. This is the reissue, but it's the same as the original Blu-ray disc. And look, that's all the features you get. Rated R 104 minutes again. Keep both the Blu-ray and the DVD with you. Um, digital copy, because this is the reissue. As I said, boring blue disc. It's not the original disc. If I get the original, I'll send this home with me, and I'll keep the original one up here. Ooh, an evening with Kevin Smith. Gotta hurry up, my phone uh, might die soon. Disc 1 is 128 minutes, this 2 is 97 minutes. Good stuff. I did disc to digital for this, uh, so I have uh, it on my Voodoo account. I have a second copy of this, uh, and I'm taking that home with me. Disc one and this two. Fun to watch. Good stuff. Jersey Girl. I really like this movie. It's um, really good. Uh, very underrated. PG-13. Kevin Smith's only PG-13 movie to my knowledge. Uh, 102 minutes. Um, yeah. So from like Dogma on until Clerks 2, the movies were 2.35 to 1. If you're curious on ratios and stuff for this movie. Um, Ad for Raising Helen. And chapters. This movie didn't do well. <laughs> this uh, disc. I would love to have the Blu-ray for that. Um, there's a um, reissue that I, I should go pick up. Jane Silent Bob do Degrassi The Next Generation. This was a great one. I, I liked it the first time around. It's just okay the second time around. I don't know if I'd rewatch this again. Uh, at least for a while. Uh, it's a, it's like an hour, a little bit over an hour. And fi it's like an hour and 15 minutes if you just watch the episodes. Even though the back says it's 120 minutes, that's including the bonus features. Disc. I'm missing a bunch of his later work. Like between like 2007-2008 to like now. Um, An Evening with Kevin Smith 2, Evening Harder. 
This was a fun watch. A bunch of fun stories in this one. Unrated uh, 239 minutes. It's like two hours per disc. Which is really cool because it's two different. Unlike uh, parts one and three. Wait. Unlike part one. Unlike the first one where it's a bunch of shows stringed together. These are one show each. This one uh, at Toronto. And this two in London. The Tim Hortons and stuff. That was funny here. Uh, stories about. I gotta put this back in the subcover. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna pause real quick. Clerks 3, uh, Clerks 2, I almost said Clerks 3. This is the HD DVD. I don't know if you can focus. There we go. Rated R, and this movie is 98 minutes. I, I, I need to watch the bonus features, as I said. I sound like a broken record, but I gotta watch all the bonus features on these discs. Especially the making of stuff. I, I should do that. I should. I might rewatch these with commentary if I got time, but my main goal is to watch like the the uh, parts where they're talking about, you know, what what went on in the film commentary. But I'm more I'm more interested in like behind the scenes stuff though. I have the bonus disc. Uh, I gotta pop that into. I think. It, I think there was like MTV promos or something on here. I don't exactly remember. Let me pause. There we go. Almost forgot about that disc. Whoops. A Three Evening with Kevin Smith. This one was a little bit different. This is one show that's like about four hours long. Uh, and even though the back says five hours, it's only four hours long. Um, and it's just Kevin Smith. So, if you're curious, there's no Jason Mewes like the other two parts. Um, 222 minutes. Good stuff, though. Disc one. And disc two. Zack and Mary make a porno. I recently rewatched this movie. Really, really good. Um, rated R, 101 minutes. This one actually says the full name of the title on the case, which is cool. Disc one. Disc two. Oh, good boy. Thank you. I'm thinking that scene in Clerks too. Anyway, um, Clerks two and Zach and Mary together in one set. As it says, it's just disc one of Clerks two. So I need a, I need the disc two of the Clerks two Blu-ray and Zach and Mary. I hate it when they put just disc one in a two, two movie set, but whatever. And last one, at least in my collection, James and Bob reboot. I don't have, uh, and this is, and I'm missing some stuff in the middle, like Tusk, uh, yoga hosters. I need to bring over. I have just a DVD of that though. Love to upgrade that one. Rated R, 105 minutes on this one. Uh, digital copy. Already redeemed though disc so yeah that's my kevin smith collection ladies and gentlemen that took uh, about half an hour and i'm surprised i did i didn't that quickly so yeah i'll see you guys next time bye, -bye.